Hello, my name is Raymond Alvarado. I'm the principal at the Academy at Inkster. We're located at 28612 Avondale in Inkster, Michigan. Phone number is 734-641-1312. The Academy at Inkster is a small charter high school serving grades 9 through 12. We were founded in the 1999-2000 academic school year and we are founded on the principles of a school to work career program. We offer programs in cosmetology, computer technology, business administration, and medical assisting. Uh, we focus on setting our students ready for careers at an early stage so that they are prepared well for life upon graduation. Our graduation rate is a 98% and 80% of our students do go on to a post-secondary education program. We offer a lot of structure and discipline for our students and give them a lot of high expectation. I'm also a firm believer in character education, to educate a person's mind and not character, to educate and menace the society. Therefore, the Academy of Inkster works on dealing with students' hearts so that we can educate their minds and prepare them for life in their particular career. Once again, my name is Raymond Alvarado. I'm the principal at the Academy of Inkster, and I look forward to educating your children at the Academy of Inkster. Hi, I'm Lori Atkinson. I'm the facilitator at the Academy of Inkster. We're located in Inkster, Michigan. The Academy of Inkster wants all students to succeed. We offer strong academic courses, including small class sizes. We also offer programs to ensure student success. One of our programs is called ZAP. It stands for Zeros Are Not Permitted. This program allows students who are not doing classwork because they do not understand it to make up their work at lunch in a small environment with a teacher. We also offer ACT prep to prepare students for the MME test and we have good gains. Students come into our school um, with lower scores and they leave our school with higher scores. We offer advanced placement and college prep classes to students who qualify. We also offer dual enrollment to qualified students. Again, my name is Lori Atkinson. I'm the facilitator at the Academy of Inkster. Hello, my name is Kimberly Austin. I'm the Dean of Students here at the Academy of Inkster. We're located at 28612 Avondale Road in Inkster, Michigan. Again, I'm the Dean of Students. I handle all behavior issues as well as I'm over character education. Because we teach our students character, we do not experience as many discipline problems that most high schools experience. An example, last year we had three fights in a whole academic year. Most high schools have three fights in one day. We teach our students how to be responsible, how to be resilient, and how to think before they speak and before they act. Again, my name is Kimberly Austin. I'm the Dean of Students at the Academy of Inkster. We welcome you to our school. And again, we're located at 28612 Avondale Road in Inkster, Michigan. Thank you. What I'm trying to do is teach them how to do men haircut. And what we're doing is we're following a guideline. And what I'm teaching them is to line up the comb on the head and where the comb slides off the head, that's your crest area and that's where your um, fade starts to come in at. Okay, and what we did was we started with a ball fade. We ball the guy all the way around here, our client all the way around here, so that we can start to cut the top. And we're going to go back in there and blend this out using our clippers according to the position in which you line it up with. This here is closed, meaning that you're going to ball it. This here is open, meaning that you're going to leave some hair like so. And to do your blend, you're going to put it halfway to take some of it off and some, leave some. Okay? So right now, what I was doing is just trying to make it fade in where you can not see a line or 
a line of demarcation where you can tell this is hair and this is bald. Okay, it's like just a fade, and that's what they call it. So I'm going slowly right against the part where the line is to try to get it out. And I'm going back and forth because the hair grows in so many different directions that we're trying to blend it in and make it disappear. And you have to go over it several times until it fades out. And you can listen to your clippers according to the sound where you can tell whether there's hair or not. It's an interactive whiteboard. So we can use our hands to actually touch it and move around. Um, if I wanted to have the students come up and instead of writing on the real whiteboard, they can actually write on, write on this smart board instead. They can access the internet and use their hands and fingers to move the mouse around.